but where do the organs go? Let's discuss. The state of Alabama with a straight face is trying to argue that they have the legal right to take organs from prisoners. So a slew of lawsuits have alleged that the bodies of their loved ones, inmates who had died in prison, were being sent back or to funeral homes without their organs. Now, after being stonewalled left and right, one of these lawsuits stumbled upon an autopsy agreement between the University of Alabama of Birmingham and the Department of Corrections, where the university allegedly pays the Department of Corrections $2,200 per autopsy. But in this agreement, it is not the prisoners or their families that are giving authority. It is the commissioner who is attaching their signature to authorize the removal of organs or tissues from inmates. Now, these families are suing with claims like unlawful conversion of anatomical parts, basically personal property. You can't just take something that is not yours. The medical students of the University of Alabama who were using these organs for their studies started to have their suspicions that something was really wrong. If this video reaches any of you students, please share in the comments.